observations. It has been reported and it has been confirmed that a version of the French Connection, William Friedkin's Oscar winning French Connection, starring Gene Hackman as Popeye Doyle and Roy Scheider as his partner, has been edited. Oh, bullshit. Disney controls the French Connection because it was a Fox film. It's now 20th yeah. Century Studios. And there is a piece of dialogue where Gene Hackman, whose character is a racist cop, uh, has dialogue where he uses the N-word, has been edited from the film. And that is the version that is currently in rotation that's currently available on iTunes. Here's the thing. As I've always said, where does it, it's where it starts. Uh, this is how it starts. It always starts small. The idea that they're changing languages and books. I don't care if you can get the original version. I don't give a flying fuck into a rolling donut. The fact that there are two versions at all is abhorrent. When are we going to grow up? You know, the whole point of Popeye Doyle's character is that he is, in fact, a racist cop. It's his character. People use this language. What are we going to do? Get rid of all of human history, which is offensive? I mean, you know, as a Jew, I grew up meeting people with green numbers on their wrists. Am I supposed to not meet those people? I mean, what are we going to do? Get rid of all of human history? People need to fucking toughen up, man. That's all I can say. And editing the French Connection. First of all, I want to know who did that. Who authorized it? You take me to him. Take me to the son of a bitch. And why is Disney allowing this uh, out into the world? This is a very important film from the early 70s. And it lives. And uh, I don't think William Friedkin would take too kindly to it. Are you talking to me? This is gross. <laughs> and I just wonder, where does it end? I mean, can you imagine half of our film collection, if, if people that did this got a hold of things like, yep. oh, I don't know, Thriller, A Cruel <laughs> Picture, Last House on the Left. <laughs> Irreversible, a clockwork orange. <laughs> I mean, what's with people? I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Now, I understand everybody wants a more just and equitable world. But you know what? I want a just and equitable world with adults living in it that don't think that words are violence. Violence is violence. Just because you hear a bad word, you should be able to, as an adult, deal with it. They're editing movies out there, and they're putting those movies out into the world. Disgusting. And you know what somebody said to me? Somebody said this on Twitter. Well, Rob, do you really need to hear the N-word again? And I'm like, you're part of the problem, dude. You're part of the problem. I don't need to hear these things, but this is what was given to us. This is how it was made. This is how the director wanted to do it. This is an actor's performance. We don't get to go back and retroactively change art that was created 50 years ago. I don't care. And the people that think that that's okay, they're part of the problem because it's a slippery slope. And once you allow one thing to creep in, no, it's okay. I mean, I want language. Oh, and by the way, do you know where this version of French Connection is currently airing? On the Criterion channel. Shame, shame, shame. Shame, 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 shame on you. What are you going to do, Criterion? Get rid of Solo? Going to get rid of that? You're not going to sell that anymore? Where does it end, man? Where does it end? It ends with everybody sitting around, sniffing their own farts, wondering, oh, why aren't we living in a kumbaya world where everything is perfect all the time, with trees and flowers and chirping birds and basket weavers who sit and smile and twiddle their thumbs and toes? They're coming to take me away, ha ha. They're coming to take me away, ha ha. That's for all you Dr. Demento fans out there. I'm telling you, it's gross. It's gross, and we've been, I've been saying this since we've been doing this show, that one day they're going to look at my Amazon buy list and they're going to come get me. They're going to take these out of here, they're going to lock me up, and they're going to say, you're a degenerate because of your film collection. No, 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 <laughs> They're coming to take me away. <laughs> For a company, it, it doesn't surprise me that, you know, Disney would be doing stuff like this, but it's just, it's worrisome. It is worrisome that our that our artistic legacy, what is the first thing that authoritarian governments do? They get rid of art. They get rid of literature. I mean, when the aliens came to Earth in the V miniseries, they got rid of the scientists. It's bad news, man. Bad news. Yeah. Don't like it. I need the French connection intact, and I need it on 4K. We don't have it on 4K. We don't have patent on 4K. You know what, Disney? It'd go a long way if you reissued the unaltered version on 4K. Then maybe I'll sing your praises. But until then, you're on my shit list, Disney, with everyone else. How are those grossest Little Mermaid doing for you, buddy? <laughs>
Well, I've talked about this before. I hate it. Editing these books, they're a product of their time. And I, I really don't understand, like, the books were written in the 50s. They're products of the Cold War, uh, as M said in Goldeneye. You're a sexist, misogynist dinosaur, a relic of the Cold War. Oh, behave. I understand they want to make money. Some people say that by mentioning this, like with Roll Dahl, you know, Roll Dahl was anti-Semitic. I, I just, I just don't care. Who gives a shit? I mean, honestly, I'm a big boy. I read all of Roll Dahl's books, his children's books, and then when I got a little older, I read the Tales from the Unexpected collection. I have his book Switch, bitch. I don't understand. Like, if these things were set in the '50s, it's like watching Mad Men and getting mad at Mad Men that Don Draper just fucks a bunch of women and. Treats him like shit, like, oh, we can't have that. I mean, he was a product of his time. Professor's got you there. And we want to act like people weren't that way. Changing language in books and all that. This is a horrible road that we go down. I mean, I understand everybody wants to be nice, and we want to make a more nice, just, equitable world. But the thing is, we're not nice, just, equitable people. Mankind is horrible. We can do great things, but we're terrible. Some of my films have dealt with... In, in many ways with the human condition. What we do to one another, what we do to the, the environment, what we do to the animals, what we do to every, we're terrible people. And this idea that you're gonna scrub language from James Bond to make it more palatable and less offensive. I must be dreaming. I find the people today, like all, the, the, there was a woman speaking at Oxford, Oxford Union or something, and there was a, about gender issues and of course triggering certain communities. There's a woman that glued her hands, or pardon me, I don't know if she was a woman or somebody who was non-binary or whatever. Yeah. She was protesting by gluing her hands to the floor of the Oxford Union. You know what, when did people become so fragile? <laughs> Look, when you go to college, that's the place where you are challenged intellectually. Nerd! And if somebody shows up and says things that you might disagree with, first of all, these people have already decided that they hate a speaker. They can't even go in and listen to a speaker first. They go in and they shout down speakers. I'm like, I'm telling you, if somebody, when I was in college, if somebody protested a speaker where I was going to school, they would have gotten thrown out. How rude, how fragile are you that you can't hear someone's ideas? Like, if you think somebody has bad ideas, great, listen to them and figure out why can you rebut their opinion and have a great argument about why their ideas are bad. But to go down and shout down ideas, it just, it, it, it doesn't do anything for your cause and it doesn't do anything for you. It makes you look weak. If you can't listen to somebody speak, you're the problem, not the speaker. It's gross hate it i hate all this i hate all these people that they can't even handle listening to somebody's words words are violence man you don't even know what violence is shut the fuck up don't tell me i can't hear a speaker don't tell me i can't read a book fuck you hate it but nowadays i mean everybody it's it's just it's it's terrifying how people want to erase the past and they think it's a good thing it's like did you not read any books have you not read your george orwell did you not read aldous huxley's did you not read read any of this stuff? Do you not read science fiction? I mean, it's it's, it's crazy to me. How many dystopian... Watch THX 1138 if you're a Star Wars fan. Go back and see what George Lucas was saying about a totalitarian regime. It's amazing. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I'll fight it tooth and nail. Anybody that won't listen to somebody speak, they're the problem, not the speaker. They're the problem. They're the fascists. They're, they're the ideologues that have a problem... If you, if you want to combat a bad idea, listen to those ideas, learn how to tell people they're bad and why they're bad, and do the work, man. Do the work. That's all I can say. Do the effing work. My films are all about the thin line between good and evil that's in everybody. I don't believe in a guy in a white hat and a guy in a black hat. I, I know it within myself. It's a constant struggle for my better angels to triumph.